Good morning. So let me introduce myself. Uh, I am Sangmeshwar, mathematics teacher. So today we are going to discuss uh, one of the important chapter in 10th standard CBC as well as state of current. So before going for introduction, so let us see what is there actually in this chapter. So actually there are two chapters. One is called as trigonometry. Another one is called as application of trigonometry. If you are knowing the briefly information about this trigonometry, you are going to answer easily in the application of trigonometry chapter. So my question arises, why to study this trigonometry? So this trigonometry is used to find the high distances, means uh, maximum distances. Maximum distances means, uh, so distance between the moon and earth, distances between the moon and sun, distances between the earth and moon. So like this, uh, so high distances will be measured by using the trigonometry. So you can find the depth of the ocean also, you can find the height of the mountain also by using this only application of the trigonometry. So let us start with the chapter which is called as the trigonometry. This trigonometry is derived from the Greek words, so which is made up, made up of two words. So which is called as the, so one word is the trigon, another one is the metron. So trigon means a triangle and metron means a measurement. Here this trigon is also made up of two words. One is tri, another one is gon. Tri means three, gon means side. So in total, this trigon means a three-sided closed figure, which is called as a trigonometry. And this metron means a measurement. This metron means a so measurement. Measurement. So in this total chapter, basically we are going to study about the measurement of the triangles. So actually we are having the different type of triangles. In this chapter, we are going to discuss only about the right angle triangle. So right angle triangle means a if I consider this angle as a theta and this is 90 degree as a basis, the side opposite to the 90 degree is always called as the hypotenuse. And if this is under consideration, this side will be always the opposite. And the remaining side will be adjacent. Why it is adjacent? Because of which is adjacent to the this angle, therefore it is adjacent side. So in this right angle triangle, we are having the three sides. One is hypotenuse, opposite to the 90 degree, another one is adjacent, and the, the side opposite to the angle, which is called as the opposite side. So my question arises, if I consider in this triangle, if I consider this angle as a theta, then the opposite side will change. So here, this is the opposite now. Always the side opposite to the 90 degree is called as the hypotenuse and the remaining side will be adjacent. So these are the three sides. So if I see the right angle triangle, one mathematician will uh, uh, come to the mind uh, who is uh, Pythagoras. So we are going later. So Pythagoras uh, statement says that uh, so <coughs> hypotenuse square equals to sum of the square of the remaining two sides. So that we have learned in previous classes. Now, so one more so important word we have seen in this chapter, which is called as a trigonometric ratios. So, which is called as trigonometric trigonometric ratios. Trigonometric ratios means uh, nothing but the ratio of uh, these sides. Ratio means we are always knowing that uh, so something will come in the numerator as well as something will come into the denominator. So numerator by denominator. So here by seeing these three sides only we are going to define a six trigonometric ratios. How they come? Very simple. So one ratio is a hypotenuse uh, opposite by hypotenuse, another ratio is a adjacent by hypotenuse, and the third ratio is a opposite by adjacent. Let me repeat again. First ratio is opposite by hypotenuse, second ratio is adjacent, uh, adjacent by hypotenuse, and the third ratio is a so let me write those three uh, trigonometric ratios first. So first ratio is opposite divided by hypotenuse, and the second ratio is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, and the third ratio is opposite 
divided by adjacent. So remaining three ratios will come exactly reciprocal of these three. So first ratio is opposite by hypotenuse, second ratio is adjacent by hypotenuse, third ratio is opposite by adjacent. Reciprocal of this means exactly what the so which are going to write it as hypotenuse divided by opposite. So next one is reciprocal of this, which is can be written as hypotenuse divided by adjacent. And the third ratio is exactly ulta of this, which is can be written as adjacent divided by opposite. So this is one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. So these are the six trigonometric ratios we are going to study in the also. So let me read it again. So here we are going to see six ratios on this right angle triangle. First ratio is opposite by hypotenuse. Second ratio is adjacent by hypotenuse. Third ratio is opposite by adjacent. So which remaining three will be exactly reciprocal of these three. So every time repeating reading will be difficult. That's why before they have given by uh, kind of uh, many mathematicians have given some names for this. Uh, so for so for this they have found here the sine theta, sine theta, which will be also written in short, uh, which can be written also in short uh, as sine theta. So next one is the cosine theta. So cos theta. Third one is the tangent theta. Tangent theta. So in short tan theta. So these are the three uh, uh, exactly trigonometric ratios. First one sin theta, second one cos theta, third one uh, tan theta. Sorry, sin theta, cos theta, tan theta. Reciprocal of this cos theta will be cosec theta. Reciprocal of cos theta will be second theta. And reciprocal of this tan theta will be cot theta. So simple. So in this class we have discussed about uh, six trigonometric ratios and this trigonometry introduction. So let, uh, let me repeat all the things again in one minute. Trigonometry is made up of two words, trigon and metron. Triangle means, tri uh, trigon means triangle, metron means measurement. So which this the, uh, in this chapter we are going to study about uh, this uh, right angle triangle. Right angle triangle means uh, this is 90 degree, opposite side with the hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent. So exactly six uh, ratio of the sides will be origin here. So one is opposite by hypotenuse, adjacent by hypotenuse, opposite by adjacent. Reciprocal of these three will be <coughs> in this three trigonometric ratio we are going to see. Sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosec theta, sec theta, cot theta. One, one, one.